Well, the game is saying certain defeat. Okay, that's less encouraging than I would like it to be, game. Should I retreat? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here. Today, taking a look at Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. I've kind of been keeping my eye on this one because it's got a lot of elements that I like. There's some real-time tactical combat with armies and units and whatnot and some campaign building and world building and all sorts of neat stuff, all with vampires. This is just the beta of this, so we're not going to expect much. I've kind of been messing around with this for the past couple of days, and it's very limited content in the beta, as you would expect from a beta. And including, I might add, a, a couple of pretty nasty bugs that'll get worked out as time goes by. Hopefully we won't encounter any of those. Maybe we will, who knows. Now, I did receive a key to this from the developers for the beta, so thank you very much to those folks for that. I have left a link to the Immortal Realms Steam page down below, so if you want to check this out for yourself, maybe throw it on your wish list. That's where you can go ahead and do this. We've got a couple of options in beta. We've got a campaign mode that is limited, but introduces us to kind of the story of this. And we've got a sandbox mode. I thought we'd give the campaign a try. I've messed around with a couple of them. The campaign is a little more straightforward and tutorial ninja, which suits my speed because, you know, ain't no one tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay. So let's check out some Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. And again, this being a beta, we are very limited in what we can do. We can only be the Dracul faction, although other factions are available in the broader game. And we only have this one campaign, A Night to Remember. A storm is brewing in the northeastern reaches of Warmont, and the night sky is tainted blood red. So something weird is going on on the border of the Dracul clan, and we're going to send our minions out to investigate. Well, it seems there's been a bit of a human rebellion against our glorious vampire masters. We're over here. Our army with Cecilia Dracul is stationed over here, and we've got a very tiny army. In fact, it, I'm hard-pressed to even call it an army. We have Thinblood Spearmen times two and Thinblood Archers, and with a name like Thinblood, you know these are pretty much tier one baby's first army, so I'm not expecting a lot of them. And unfortunately, in this campaign, in the beta mode, we can't recruit. This is it. We've got to get this army through this campaign. And we live here, which is neat. We have Dracul Forest. We have a nice little city over here. What can we know about this city? It's got a population growth of one per year. And we're almost full. So we have four out of five population. And it's generating four blood per turn. Yeah, our currency is blood. It's a game about vampires. Right now we've got a hundred. And our upkeep is right now zero. So we're generating five. We have three that we're losing to our army upkeep. And two that we're losing to our lord upkeep. We have two lords. Cecilia is one of them. So we're we're net zero right now. We're, we're neutral balance at this point. Point. If we could recruit, I'm sure that would have an effect on our blood in a negative way, and we'd start losing blood. Hemorrhaging blood, if you will. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Right, let's get some folks moving, because the human rebellion, where did, where did that live? That's all the way over here in this human keep. Oh, here's another army. Rebellion leader, okay, ignores pain, he can heal, gains 50 health, oh dear. And you've got spearmen and horsemen and bowmen. Wow, you actually have a, a decent army here. Certainly bigger than mine. And peasants. Okay, I can't expect much from peasants except for this enrage ability. Gain 75% attack when you're at low health. Hmm. Okay, so they're not particularly strong, it seems. I mean, compared to the horsemen, they're nothing. They The horsemen have an attack of 70. These guys have only got an attack of 35. But when you get below two-thirds health, that's going to go up by 75%. So we kind of need to one-shot peasants, is what I'm seeing. Bowmen, pretty self-explanatory. Bombard, all enemies in an area for 50% of base attack. 
Okay, so you can hit everyone, but you're going to do less damage. Right, let's get some folks moving here. Um, and what is this wishing stone while I'm on my way? Can be used to gain either extra AP, blood, or mana, and more. All right, well, let's move. Let's go this way. We all just have to get over here, and I think we can kind of skip a lot of this. Unless there's something else I can do, like, say, in the village. Is there anything I can do here? No. No, that's generating two per turn. I wonder if the blood goes up when we reach population three. I would imagine it would. I mean, this is two population, it's generating two blood. This is four population, it's generating four blood. Okay, so every population point seems to be a blood point. Fair enough. So we want to grow our empire. We want our towns and cities to get bigger because that's more blood. Ah, a group of rebellious humans. It's time to feed. Leave no mortal alive. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say can do. We'll see how this works out. But I'm out of movement points, so I need to end my turn. I'm going to just bet these guys are going to come marching in here. Yeah, saw that one coming. Certain victory, you say. Certain victory. I could auto-resolve it. We could total war this up and just auto-resolve it. Not in the beta, apparently, but in the in the full game, we can just go, yeah, you know what, I got this, and auto-resolve. But let's fight this thing. Let's see what our Tier 1 army can do against their Tier 1 army. They have spearmen and two units of peasants. I don't think this is going to be a problem. Let's find out. And much like any other unit-based strategy game, we've got a placement phase. Now, they're all up here. That's fine. I don't see that they have any way to get to me quickly, so I'm just going to go with some very basic tactics of putting my spearmen up front. Now, this little copse of trees here, we're probably going to have to negotiate around that. So what if we put my spearmen up here, put my bowmen over here? I'd like to actually get my lord up front, if only because in my messing around with this, my little experimental seeing how this game plays phase of things, lords hit well above their weight class. They just wreck things. So I want this guy to be right up front. Let's, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I take that back. Let's get the lord in the middle. Let's get the spearmen around on this side. I am just kind of want to see where they're going to go and see if we want to go around and try and flank them a little bit. And we have cards to deal with. We have cards in this game too. So what have I got? What are, what are my starting cards here? Uh, target unit and gain ethereal and executioner. I don't know what either of those mean, but I can take some educated guesses. I would assume ethereal would make me harder to hit, and executioner might mean that I'm going to hit harder. Celerity, plus two movement, plus two initiative. Okay, cool. Uh, come back here. Target unit ignores, ignores the next source of damage. That's handy. That's just a basic shield. All right. Bloodlust, you say. Target allied unit, lose 25% health, but gain 50% attack. Okay, alrighty, fair enough. Deal 40 damage to your lord and all adjacent enemy units. That's fine, so he's just going to nuke himself and kill everything around him. And deal 35 damage to a unit and heal your lord. Okay, so drain blood, got it. Right, lords up first, Cecilia. You can move pretty darn far. You could get all the way up here, but I don't want to put you completely out on your own. Let's get you here. Okay. And they're going to get their turn now. And they're going to... All right. So they are going to try and work around all of this. My bowman, what is your range? You have a range of five tiles. Okay, good. Um, why don't you... Well, actually, if I put you there, that's going to interfere with the pathing of my spearmen who I want to get over here. Let's just put you down here, actually. And you guys, I would like you to start working... Oh, if I put them over here, though, that's going to leave them very exposed because everyone else, if we need to help them out, is going to have to work around this rock and tree formation here. But let's put you uh, here. Let's put you here. It's going to take them at least one more movement to get to me, so we can kind of figure out where they're going to go. Spearmen come up behind the Lord. All right, what do you got? Let's bring the Lord here. Yup. Okay, good. That's kind of what I want to see. They get an attack, but I get an immediate counterattack. 
Right, and oh, they get an attack, and I get an immediate counterattack, and I healed myself there too. Do I have that as just sort of a um, a base ability? Okay, we're looking at archers right now. That's fine. Um, can we actually? Yeah, we can target you from way over here. So let's do that. Fire on those guys. Yep, they didn't like that one bit. They hated that. You can just automatically start hitting people. Thank you. They'll get a counterattack, but they didn't really do much. That was just a light tap. Uh, you can certainly get all the way around and flank these guys. Good. All right, they, they got a little more than a light tap there. However, Cecilia is now in a position to just absolutely wreck these guys. But as we're at full health, why don't we... Yeah, I just want to read Bloodstorm again. All adjacent enemy units. It specifically says enemy. It's got looks like it's got a two turn cooldown. I just want to kind of play with the cards a little bit. It does say enemy, which leads me to believe this will not affect my units that are right next to me. Oh, did we not uh did we not get that off? There we go. All right. Yeah, that that they didn't like that one bit. They were not fans of that. No. That worked out just fine. Okay, I think we can end that turn. You got one guy here. Although he did a good hit. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Good hit on you. I'm going to give you that, but uh, not, not so much, really. Now that, let's move you guys up to, say, here. I think this battle is pretty much done because we are, well, first off, surrounding them at this point. And they've got nothing left. So let's get you into flank on this side. Good. Thank you very much. You'll get a little bit of a tap back. That's fine. And just keep wailing on these guys. We've got this all day long. And my lord can just smash. Yeah, that's a big old smash. Like a little tap back. That's fine. Uh, turn and let's... Who's up? Uh, doesn't really matter. Just there we go. They're all done. Problem solved. And we have been rewarded with a card for that. Target army gains plus two AP. Okay, good. I, I kind of like the doing damage cards. But oh, oh, way more cards. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on in here? Hang on a sec. Just slow down there, vampire lady. All units in target army heal for 60%. Bathe in blood. Oh, yeah, we're, we're definitely using that at some point. Uh, plus one veterancy. I don't know what that is. I would assume that's some sort of being better at your job kind of thing. Thin blood recruits. Hmm. Recruits thin bloods and thin blood archers from a target village. Requires two population and reduces the population by two. Okay. So, just go away, lady. Can I target this village for some more recruits? Can I do this? Apparently I can. And does that gain me? I think I just topped off what I had. All right. Yeah, and I haven't healed. I haven't healed up the damage that I've taken. Okay, and they're down to plus zero. So I believe we are going to go into negative blood probably next turn because this is not producing blood anymore. Okay, can I target army 60% HP? How did that work out? Oh yeah, that topped me off nicely. Okay, good. I'm feeling better about that. Great, good. Okay, um, where are we heading again? Uh, where did that where did that rebel army go over here? Okay, let's um, let's go through friendly territory. You know, mine specifically. Now, what can I do in this cave? Anything? Uh, the following units can be recruited. A bat swarm can move over f regular units. Okay, they can fly. Sensible. Agile. They take less damage from ranged attacks. Okay, so this might be a nice frontline troop to send against archers. Not only can they move over all terrain, but they're going to take less damage from archers, and they can heal themselves when they kill a unit. Hmm, handy. Can't recruit them. Because we can't recruit in this version of the beta. But good to know they exist. Now this 8 blood here, is that what they consume on a turn-by-turn -turn basis? Because that's quite a lot. That's a lot of blood we'd have to make up somewhere. Alright, well, when we see the full game, we'll get an eye on that. Village, probably nothing we can really do here. No, 
No, we could just kind of putter along. Yeah, let's let's move all of our troops through friendly territory because unless we get that card again, we're not going to be able to really doing a lot of healing. Okay, I'm happy with where we are now. Let's see what happens. Now, I think we're pretty good to move straight on to here. I'm mildly concerned. I don't know what my range of vision is. So I can see this territory, but I don't know. Is there things lurking in here that might take me by surprise like an enemy army no okay surrender or die where you stand sounds pretty vampire -y to me dawn of a new age human empire has arrived to bring us salvation yeah no it hasn't this whole game is about vampire lords dude you're not this is not ending well for you i mean i don't know about the other vampire lords but i'm gonna say you are cattle and this is this game is not going to go well for you, Mr. Rebel Leader. Um, but, but you know, good effort. Good effort. Now, what are you packing here? Oh, yeah, you're the guy with the good army. Okay. Well, I'm fully healed. Or at least as fully healed as I can get. Horsemen, spearmen, right. Bowmen. Great time to have those bats right now. Peasants. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty confident we can deal with the peasants so long as we can take them out very quickly. And this lord... And this lord ain't nothing. Okay, I think... Well, let's let's give it a shot. Let's see how this goes. This is the whole point of this little mini-campaign here. Well, the game is saying certain defeat. Okay. That's less encouraging than I would like it to be, game. Should I retreat? Should I... Should I build up strength somewhere? Let's, um... Let's go over here. I don't know. I, I haven't gotten this far in the little mini campaign. I can't do anything with this place, right? I can't claim it. What can I, oh, what can I get out of here? Feral wolves, you say? Ooh, nice. Ooh, attacks by this unit cannot be retaliated. So they don't get their little counterattack. Neat. I like that. Is there anything I can do with my cards? Not really. I'm, I'm looking for like a, you launch a blood-filled nuclear missile at this army and destroy it before you even get there. Okay, I think um, I'm going to end this turn. Kind of see what happens here. Nothing. I'm pretty much committed to going against this army of apparently I will certainly be defeated, but let's give it a shot anyway. Probably the best thing I can do is just kind of, I guess, force them to come to me. Because they're going to have some very fussy terrain to work around. They've got a lot of trees and rocks and all sorts of nonsense here. So they're going to have to work their way down. And I'm going to go ahead and assume they're going to send their horses first. And the horses are going to move faster. Maybe we can take out the cavalry before the rest of the troops even get here. I might be overthinking this. We might just lose. But we're going to give it a shot. Go ahead and, yeah, I think we're all going to hang out right here. Um, what cards do I have? Drain Life, that'll be handy. Bloodstorm will be very handy. Bloodlust, okay, I'm not crazy about that because I can't afford to be losing health. Arcane Barrier will very much be handy. And Celerity and Stalk, okay. Right, good. Uh, wait, just wait right there. They're sending their Lord up first, and he ain't nothing. He's kind of beefy. Oh, those guys move really far. I'm going to move my Archers over here. And then wait. We're just going to wait them out. What is this? Guard. Gain 15 armor for two turns. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to do that right now. But that's good to know that exists. Yeah, no, everyone's just going to hang out right here. We're all just going to hang tight. Just sit here and wait for them to come to us. Okay, I think now I'm going to turn on guard. Because they should be here within two turns. So you guard as well. And I might... Is it too early to fire off that arcane barrier? Yes. Yes, it is. I should really save that for when we're at lower health and I really need to not get hit. Uh, what have you got? Oh, aim shot. Perform a range attack with increased range. I didn't know you could do that. Um, yeah. Do, do that. Uh, who do we want to do that to, though? Their lord? I don't think there's a morale thing here. I don't I don't think this is that total worry where taking out their lord uh, would suck down their morale and they might flee. I don't think anyone's fleeing. I think they're going to stay right where they are and charge is still death. I notice you have shields. 
I don't know if that deflects arrows. I don't know how much I'm thinking into this game. But I'm going to target... Oh, I can't target the peasants. They're just kind of out of range. In fact, you're the only guy in range, so that kind of answers my question. Shoot these guys. Shoot them. Okay, that did very, very little damage. The game might have been right about this certain defeat nonsense. Are we going to hang out right there? Possibly. Possibly. What are, what are my implications here? They're going to have to work around all of these trees and basically stand right in front of me. Yeah, I think I'm good staying right here. Yeah, this, this is my plan. My plan is basically to taunt them, I, I guess. Nothing else in here that I want right now. No. No. Okay, just wait there. Oh, you healed! Oh, you jerks! Why would you do that? Okay, we got a... a a shot. Wow, well, we really... Okay, I think the game may have been perfectly correct about certain defeat. All right, now we actually got to do something around here. So, fire on them. Yup. Okay, that did very little damage. Let's... Yeah, you're going to flank these guys, so take a shot at them. Good shot, actually. Good shot. You'll get a little bit of a hit back, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, you are also going to get a hit in, and a pretty darn good one, it looks like, too. Yep, excellent shot. All right, if we could take out one unit right now, I'd be pretty darn happy with that, to be honest. All right, you could certainly take this horsey unit out. Is there anything better you should be doing right now? Mm, I, ooh, I really want to fire off that arcane barrier but I think it's a little too soon. Let's just reduce their numbers. This should comfortably take this guy out. Yeah, and I healed myself a little bit. I don't think I needed to, but I did. Uh, no, oh, can you get... Wait, why do you have like an extra move? I don't know, but go ahead and hit these guys because you're going to do a ton of damage. They'll get their little we're really angry buff, but I think we'll learn to cope. Now their lord is coming in. Oh yeah, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt, but we can, we'll get a little bit back on him. Oh, he's doing a thing. He played a card. Battle standard. I didn't have time to see what that was, but it's probably not good for me. Oh, yeah. This is getting messy now. This is getting messy. Right. Archers. Can you maybe just deal with this? Just, just Can you take them out completely? Oh, so close. They have one guy left. There's one guy left. All right. Who's, whose turn is it? Um, oh, you guys. Okay. Oh. I want to... No, I've got a plan. Hit the Lord. Yep. Hit him, please. Okay, terrible hit. And he did pretty much as much damage to you as you did to him. This is going to get really, really fussy. What can you do? Because I have a plan for Cecilia. Uh, Hit this guy? Okay, you, you, you hit him. That was good. I would like you to go to here. Because I would like to do the Bloodstorm thing. 40 damage to me, fine, I'll take it. But it's also going to do damage to everyone around me. So yeah, do this. Oh yeah, they didn't enjoy that at all. That should have, I think that hit all three of these units. I don't know if adjacent also means diagonally. But it definitely hit their lord and took out that peasant uh, spear band or whatever the heck that was. Whatever it is, I've killed it. And I've, I still seem to have an extra move. I'm, I'm not sure how that works. Ah, is there anything else I should be doing? Stock. Is this the time for Arcane Barrier? How are my troops doing? My spearmen are looking a little dodgy. Right. Let's do... Uh, I kind of just want to hit this guy because we'll do some damage. Okay, um... No, let's do Arcane Barrier on these guys. Let's just give them a, a full 100% shield for one turn or whatever it is. Oh, you're doing a thing! Fear you! Should I be fearing you? I kind of do, truth be told. Right, they're coming around here. I'd love to take those guys out too. Alright, we did some damage. You, archers. You're going to do way more damage against these spearmen than you are anything else. Yeah, you'll do virtually nothing to their lord. Go ahead and target those guys. Let's see if we can, again, just reduce their... Oh, they've got more archers up there. I forgot about them. You just hit. Hit anything. Can you get... You can get over here. Do that. Hit them. Okay, good. Good hit. Solid hit there. 
Oh, oh, what, what? I have no idea what just happened. But somehow something happened and we're injured. This should finish these guys off. Great. Who? Okay. Um, you. You. Me. Really. I got a cooldown on Bloodstorm. Uh, I could... I could heal myself and damage this guy. How much damage am I likely to do by just hitting him? Ooh, a fair bit. 42, and this will do 35, but it's also going to heal me. So do that. About the same amount of damage, and I get a little bit of a buff out of that. And now hit him. Okay, solid hit. Good. Alright, and he got a little bit of a tap on me. Ah, no, he's doing a thing! I wish I had more time to read their cards. To know what they're doing. That would be nice. Um, yeah, go ahead and shoot these guys. We really haven't done anything at all to them. I'm going to leave basically lord on lord action here. I'm going to have my lord hit their lord until somebody dies. That's kind of my idea. You guys go up and try and take these guys out if you can, please. I may have just complicated my own pathing there. Can you get over here? Yeah, you can't. I just completely messed up my own pathing. All right, well, you know what? Join in the fun down here. It's fine. Just join in down on this team. Ow. 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 Hit him. Because I think he's he's getting ready to go down. So am I. Oh, he's done another card. I want to be able to read the cards. I want to see what they're playing. I'd like that to pop up and let me read it before I, you know, it goes away. And I can say, okay, I've read that card. I know what this guy is doing now because I can't read that quickly. I mean, I, I probably could, but I'm trying to play the game at the same time. Hit the Lord. Just everybody, everybody dogpile on this guy. Oh, he did that bombard thing. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Um, yeah, I guess Hitty Hit? Sure, why not? Okay, we've killed him. This is a promising thing that's happening. Now we should, what have I got left? I have my archers, I have like two guys left in my spear unit, and they have a full unit of spears and archers. Yeah, this is, um... Fussy. What have I got in cards? Okay. I have Bloodstorm again. I have Bloodstorm. I kind of like more the idea of drain life because that is going to heal me and I need all the heals I can get right now. And now go hit them in the face. Good solid hit. And I got a little bit more of a heal there. And they did a very, very light tap to me. Let's just keep dogpiling on this unit. Okay. Oh, oh I, uh, Archers! Go away, archers. Bad archers. Oh, you're probably going to take out the spear unit. Oh, no, you targeted me. Good. Good. Because I hit harder than these guys do. And you basically gave them a free hit. You'll probably kill them in retaliation. Nope, not quite. I got one guy left. Let's do... Uh, what, what else could I possibly do down here? I mean, Bloodstorm will take them out, but so will just hitting them in the face. I think this will be fine. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, we've kind of got numbers on them now. Which is good. I can't get my archers up there, but I can move them over here. Can you shoot through trees? I genuinely don't know. Um, how far can... Oh, wow, you can't... I kind of boned my own pathing again there. Okay, let's just all charge towards... Ow! Uh, yeah, you can shoot through trees. Fantastic. Shoot through trees. Do that. You, go hit in the face. Come on, hitty hit. They're archers. They can't possibly have much. Oh, yeah, you're going to wreck them. You're going to absolutely wreck them. Yeah, this this is fine. You Yeah, you got my spear unit. Okay. Okay, that's okay. We're, we're going to make this up in this turn. Yep. Problem solved. Well, I think we could call that a Pyrrhic victory. I don't think there's any denying that. We've got some archers left. And me. That's about it. But we, you know, they said certain defeat. We did pull a victory out of that. A Pyrrhic victory, no lie there, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, let's see what happens next. Oh, do I have some sort of level up I should be dealing with? I see a little plus sign up here. And we've completed our objective. We have investigated the human keep, and by that we threw ourselves at their army until virtually everyone died but we did it we did it so we've discovered the source of the rebellion or i guess we've discovered the source of the rebellion and now what are we supposed to do um oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. we're recruiting hang on things are happening uh, sacrificing attrition things right uh you go away yes we're going to move through the wildlands to find out is that that's all of this wow 
This is a big old map. Cool. Okay. That there's a lot of ground to cover here. Can I can I see what any of this is? Assist the Northern Keep. Cross the wildlands and find where the Empire has invaded Warmont. Okay. Is that something I want to do right now? I'm not sure. And it looks like I've just claimed that castle for myself. The claim ability is, is disabled in this campaign of the beta, as far as I'm aware, but it just seems like through the through the quest line I've just taken control of this. So this is now a Dracul keep. Uh, to go with my other Dracul keep that I've got kicking around here somewhere. Oh, I've got a Dracul forest. Well, you know, I like to have the complete set. Now, what did I get down in my cards here? I got the Thin Blood Recruits again. Well, we're really going to need that now. Uh, the Veterancy. Right, Meditation. Replenish Mana. All right, Inspire the Troops again. Mobilize. Cast on any recruitment building to recruit a unit for 10% less. Yeah, we haven't even had a chance to see any of the city building. We're going to build up these cities, apparently, and put things into them, like buildings. Cast on Drackle to recruit a unit for less. And what was Sacrifice? C come here. Gain 15 blood points. Okay, so just a flat 15 blood points. Oh, uh, fine. Fine. What am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to cross the Wildlands and find where the Empire has invaded Warmont. Okay. Fair enough. And I see now I have a heal option. Don't know why I have that, but I do. So what happens if I hit that? I heal a little bit. Okay. Consumes one AP on you. Alright, so I've knocked some action points down. I'm kind of stuck here for a little bit. Um, why are you why are you flashing at me? General can upgrade a spell card. Okay. Well, that drain life thing was working out pretty well for me. Can I upgrade that? What happens if I do? Increase healing to 200%, increases range, or reduces mana cost? Oh, I want the healing. Yeah, 200% of the amount. I don't know what that math is off the top of my head. Let's see, that's 70 and then 140. 140 for a heal. Yeah, I, I want to do that. And we also get to level up our clan. So develop my clan legacies. Some legacies can be learned multiple times. I can see that. There's little little circles for each one. Looks like I'm locked into Iron Fist. So that's just going to basically increase my attack and my armor. No bad thing. Happy to take that. Uh, no available points. Can't do it. Okay. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Immortal Realms Vampire Wars, or the beta version of it at least. This is slightly farther than I got when I was just messing around. I, I never did that final battle against the humans there, so I don't know what happens after this. I, I don't know if we just keep marching through the lands and, well, conquering as much as we can, apparently. I don't know how much I'm going to conquer with one unit of archers and a lord who's half dead, or I guess half alive now? How does it work with the undead? If I take half of your undead life away, are, I'm okay. You know what? Never mind. I'm sure it's all going to work out. So do let me know what you think of this. If we want to kind of plug along a little bit, or if we want to just call this as a, a look at the game and, and leave it at that. As always, it comes down to what I want to play and what you want to watch. And somewhere between the two, we try to find a happy point. But let me know what you think of Immortal Realms. I'd be very curious. And if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see. Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hep hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?